Alright, hey guys, Happy New Year and welcome to my first video of 2015. Today's going to be a sort of different video for you and I'm going to be doing an anime recommendation video of the anime AI Tenshi Moyo. Uh, this is probably just going to be sort of a one-off video. It's unlikely I'll probably end up doing any more uh, anime recommendation videos unless maybe I'll get some uh, requests for them in uh, this video. So uh, I really want to do this anime recommendation for the show AI Tenshi Moyo as it's a, it's, a, it's a new anime and it's something I really, really enjoyed watching. And it's also from a series that I'm a really big fan of. And I mean, Tenshi Moyo is by no means not a popular anime, but it's obviously no way near as well known as such anime juggernauts such as uh, Bleach, One Piece and uh, Fairy Tail. So I'm going to basically start this video talking about the show, the plot and the characters and the series and why you should watch it and then also where you can actually go and find the episodes for this series. And then towards the end of the video I'm actually going to talk about the uh, how AI Tenshi Moyo actually ended with uh, how it was left for some possible continuation. But I'll give fair warning when I get to that part of the video with spoilers and telling you like this is where you uh, can stop watching the video if you want to avoid spoilers for the show, if maybe you're going to watch it or maybe Maybe you are currently watching the show. Okay, so AI Tenshi Moyo is a Japanese anime series produced by AIC. The series is based on the Tenshi Moyo franchise and is actually sponsored by the city of Takahashi Okoyama, which I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but I'm going to put a huge bio in the description below so you can read all the correct spelling and uh, information on the show. Now, it's actually sponsored by this city in order to actually promote tourism for this actual city in Japan. Now, the show was also uh, created to celebrate the franchise's 20th anniversary of uh, Tenshi Moyo. Now, the show began airing in uh, October of 2014, and it consists a total of 64-minute episodes, or 50 episodes, and 10 recap episodes. OK, now I'm going to read just a quick plot description for you from the actual Wikipedia page, as this tells it pretty much as it is. In this story, the world is in chaos thanks to Washu. Now, in order to save it, Tenshi Masaki must go undercover as a student teacher at an all-girls school. Unfortunately for him, trouble always comes his way, as he has a hard time to deal with the hijinks of his new students. Now, to my knowledge, it's not actually stated which uh, universe the AI Tenshi is actually set off. Now, I use the word universes because if you know anything about the Tenshi Moyo side, you'll know that there's different types of universes. You've got the Tenshi Moyo OVAs and the Tenshi Universes and Tenshi in Tokyo's and so forth. But um, from what I've seen, this sort of looks like it may well be its completely own separate universe. However, this is set sort of uh, a few more years in advance to uh, previous Tenshi shows as I believe Tenshi was 16 years old in the uh, older animes whereas in this show he is uh, 22 so it is set quite a few years in front. Now that does not mean by any means that you have had to have needed to watch any of the previous other Tenshi animations shows to understand exactly what's going on in this show. As I said it's a completely brand new story um, so you can literally start watching episode one from the show and you have not had to have watched any of the others to understand really the plot of what's going on now it may help that you've watched some of the other shows because you'll understand um, why the original girls that are living in Tenji's house are actually there but it's not essential to know for this actual series so as I just said, you do have all the old original girls from the previous animations of Tenshi returning. In fact, they're already living with Tenshi. As I've said, this is set a few years in front of any of the other previous uh, storylines. So you've got all your fan favourites such as Ryoko, Ayaka, Sasami, Mahoshi and Washu. However, most of them don't appear until uh, episode 7. So just keep that in mind because I know when this show first started to air, you had a lot of people angry saying, like, oh no, where are all the original girls? This show's not good and whatnot. But however, this show also does focus a lot on the new girl characters for the show, most notably the main female protagonist, uh, Momo. Now, Momo is definitely my uh, new favourite character from the show AI Tenshi Moyo. She's a, a really likeable character, and as this description I'm reading right now, she is straightforward, honest, and a strong sense of justice. But you've also got a load of other new characters, such as Hachiko, Hana, Tori, Yuki, Rui, and Benny. Now, it may sound like there may be too many characters in this show, and it might be a little bit overwhelming, but it's definitely not. I mean, the, char the, 
the show doesn't go into huge details of some of the side characters because essentially you don't really need to know uh, every single piece of detail for the um, each of the characters. Basically, focuses on the main ones, and you get a little bit of fun adventure story with some of the minor characters. Now, the show is actually uh, directed by Hiroshi Nagashi. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right again. Now, he's pretty well known in directing animes, and uh, he's most notable, for probably people watching this, of actually directing Tenshi Universe. So, yeah, this is a, a really, really enjoyable anime, and I really loved watching all 60 episodes for this show. It consists of plenty of action, adventure, fantasy, and harem elements, as you'd expect in this sort of anime. But I wouldn't say one overpowers more than the other. In terms of a short anime, this show really does have a lot to offer for an audience. So the reviews I've seen have been pretty much positive for this show. Uh, most of the negative comments I've seen out there are based on the uh, the length of the show, because uh, each episode, as I said at the beginning, is only four minutes in length. Now I don't honestly actually mind that because um, you know some days I don't really get a lot of time to sit in front of a computer or a television and watch loads of shows, and a four minute show is just something you can quickly get on and focus your attention on it and then move on, or maybe something you can watch before, uh, for instance, when I go to work. And um, it really gives that feeling of uh, the show feeling a lot longer than what it is. Because if it was only like an original anime length episode, like about 23 minutes, there'd only be um, probably about 10 episodes, I think, something like that. It is only about a five hour show length time in total. So yeah, overall, I really recommend watching this anime. I know I've already said that. But um, it's a short anime on length, but it has so much to offer for the viewer watching the show. And if you're a previous fan of anime, then I guarantee you'll love it. You just need to sort of sit down and get right into it, and you will honestly love it. Now, I know this video I've made probably won't be that popular, but even if a couple of people watch it and they decide to check the show out and maybe like it, then I'll be happy about it. And this is the sort of anime that definitely needs support in this series for there to be any type of continuation. Because I read on um, a Twitter feed on the forums um, a little while ago that um, Hiroshi uh, Nagashi stated that he would return to do uh, more Tenshi work in the future depending on the reaction to AI Tenshi. Now to watch the show I will put a link below to Tenshi Forum's YouTube channel who have done a fantastic job of uploading every single episode with uh, awesome English subtitles for you guys to watch so please uh, check that channel out and check their videos out and also check the forum out because they run a really awesome Tenshi Forum over there at TenshiForum.com Okay, so now I'm going to actually talk about the ending of AI Tenshi Moyo, my thoughts on it, and possible continuation for this show, especially with how it's uh, how it ended. So, spoiler alert, if you don't want to know how uh, AI Tenshi Moyo ends, because I'm going to talk about the last two episodes for the show, end this video now, and I'll say thank you guys for watching. Maybe come back and check it out after you've watched the show to hear my thoughts on the ending. Or maybe, if not, you just want to watch this video all the way through. So, uh, yeah, hear me out. Okay, so by the time we get to episode 59, we have a pretty emotional episode where teenage Momo and Tenshi are finally reunited at the train station, which is stuck between dimensions. Now, thanks to Tenshi, Momo knows now what she has to do to save the world, and she has to sacrifice her teenage self to stop the rift that is literally threatening to tear apart time and space. Tenchi is then shortly reunited with child Momo, and then they are shortly reunited together after that with Benny and Ryoko and then basically with both times reset to how they should be they both part their separate ways to both their separate universes. Okay and then we finally reach episode 60 the very last episode in AI Tenchi and we find Tenchi back at work at the shrine with all the original girls with him and then he later makes a pit stop at Junai Academy just to check on how the other girls are doing but of course as time has reset no one has any memory of any of the previous uh, encounters happening of either Tenchi being the, uh, the, the sensei or even teenage Momo and Benny or at least that is what it looks like in the show. And then we pan back to the shrine with Tenshi, where he's sort of uh, interrupted by a breeze in the air and you notice a pink petal flowing over his head. Now this is really important as when teenage Momo sacrificed herself, she literally turned into a load of pink petals. 
And then it sort of uh, goes to the alternate dimension where you see Child Momo and Benny and they see the exact same pink petal floating over their head. So what does this mean? Honestly, I think it means that Teenage Momo didn't completely fade from existence when she sacrificed herself. The facts I've got for that are, just before she sacrificed herself, she said to Tenchi, we'll meet again, which I don't think at all completely meant that she was relating to her younger self, because just before that she said to Tenchi, the lost child version of me is waiting for you. Now you could tell when she said that, she actually was talking as if it was another person as when she said, we'll meet again, she was referring to herself. Then we forward to right at the end of the episode 60, and if you haven't got sharp eyes or ears, you'll actually miss it, because literally the very last five seconds of the show, the camera pans into the shrine area where Tenchi's working, and you get a look at actually Momo's sword, actually in the shrine, and you'll notice that the pink petal has actually landed next to it, and you'll hear the words Tenshi Sensei being said from Teenage Momo. And it's definitely Teenage Momo, because it was only Teenage Momo that actually called Tenshi Sensei. So, I don't know whether the voice is, means it's coming from the sword, or it's like a spiritual form around it. And I reckon this has a, a direct connection to exactly what Mahoshi was detecting at the shrine, which was also in uh, episode 60, where she was actually, uh, it looked like, um, picking up some type of treasure right near the shrine where Momo's sword was, which seems too much of a coincidence to for it being that close when you've got the pink petal flowing over and then you've got the sword and then you've got the words Tenchi Sensei being said. And with that, the show ends. So definitely the show has been left open with potential stories to carry on from the show. Honestly, if there's a season two or maybe a continuation in manga form, I can really see them bringing back a Teenage Momo, which is a really good idea because she was definitely one of the, in my opinion, best characters, best new characters from the Tenchi uh, universe. I'm not sure how exactly she would be brought back into Tenchi's reality, since as you have the child version. Uh, living in another dimension but seeing as our Tenchi owns Momo's sword maybe once Tenchi uses the sword Momo could materialize from it or something like that that's just me with an idea that could provide some uh, really good storylines with maybe Tenchi teaching Momo how to use the sword and whatnot and maybe even Momo could uh, move into the Tenchi household as one of the main girls uh, which I'm sure would be much to the dismay of uh, Ryoko and Ayaka and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, I really appreciate it if you've watched it from start to finish and hear all my uh, thoughts on the show. If you have watched any of this series, or maybe watched all of it, then uh, leave some comments below on what you thought of AI Tension Moyo, because I'd really love to hear uh, what you guys think of it, especially uh, how it ended. Maybe would you really like to see a continuation of the show? Maybe they'll even do another series with full anime episodes with like the normal 23 minutes episodes anime. That would be really cool because they could uh, certainly fit um, a lot more um, storyline into that. One last thing I forgot to say about the anime before I close off with you guys is that the actual animation for the show is really beautifully done. It's really modernised to today's anime standards. And I know some of the characters, some of the original characters, do look slightly different to how they looked uh, in the anime 20 years ago, but then that's sort of to be expected as it's sort of brought up to a more modernised standard. And with that, guys, I close off with you. So, yeah, please check the anime out. That was the whole point of me making this video. And if you like the video, then I'd also really appreciate a thumbs up. So, yeah, guys, take care and see you guys soon.